What is up drone fam? This is Cruiser where I show you how to make professional drone videos and today's a special day because I've just hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. doing a tutorial today on how to use loots with your drone videos as well I'm giving you special access to the loots that I use for my own drone shots and then going over some future plans for my channel check it out Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I just hit 1,000 subs on YouTube and this is incredible to me and I'm extremely grateful because in my mind, when I started this a year ago, um, wearing the same shirt, I didn't think that my channel would grow as fast as it has done and then receiving all the positive interaction that it has received and just being able to be on this journey of where I'm making content on helping drone pilots learn how to make better videos. And it's been the best experience for me so far and as part of it all, um, I just wanna give some shout out to people who've helped me make it this far and help my channel grow. The first shout out goes out to the drone fam and to those who subscribe to my channel. Thank you all. None of this would be possible without all of you. The second shout out goes to my family and friends and those who've supported me on this process as I begin to build my channel and put out content. Thank you all. A big final thank you to my wife and for her supporting me and none of this would have been possible without her so thank you honey there's a ton more shout outs that I could give for this video but um, there's not enough time and I want to just be able to cut down and get right into what you all are looking for which is these presets or loots that I've come out with and being able to give you access to that and then show you how to use those in your own videos so if you've never used the loot or a lookup table before pretty much it's a series of settings that are saved kind of like as a preset that you can overlay over footage. And a lot of times it's used for very cinematic films and uh, if you're making cinematic videos, and in our case, making cinematic drone videos, you wanna use these to get the right color correction going for your shots to get you the desired look that you're looking for. So for me, I've actually been tinkering with loots for a long time and I've actually narrowed it down to 10 that I use for all my drone videos. And these are awesome because it helps your videos get a popping look that you can't really get with just normal presets that come standard on a lot of editing softwares and the best thing with loots is you can use them on pretty much any editing software and on Macs and PCs it's just universally available and it looks fantastic when you add them on there so I want to make mine available to everyone on my channel and to those who are visiting my channel so if you go to the link in my description of this video you'll see the loots there and they're available for purchase they're 727 which is the date that I got a thousand subscribers on so make sure to go check them out and download them and then use them in your own video videos because it'll help get your drone footage to the next level and as well you'll be able to use them with your own footage and then tinker them as you want and kind of make your own from there but in this video I'm gonna be going over real quick how to download the loots and then just use them in your own shots and then I'm gonna be showing you how to use them in Premiere Pro and as well like I've mentioned before this can be used in a ton of different video editing software. So I'm gonna actually leave links in the description for other videos that will show you how to use it with like DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut. So don't freak out if you don't have Premiere Pro. I'll leave resources for you to be able to figure out how to use loots in your editing software. It's really easy to do, but let's get right into it. Awesome, so when you click the link in the description, it's gonna take you to my loot pack, and these are loots that I've created on my own, and they're made specifically for drone footage. They're awesome, and I highly recommend using them. Normally the $15.99, but I'm giving a special price of $7.27. Take advantage of that. You click on this buy now, it's gonna take you to PayPal where you're gonna check out, and um, as soon as you're done checking out, it's gonna actually take you to a Google Drive folder called Cinematic Drone Loots Cruiser, and then in there you're gonna see two Two different folders Mac cube files and then PC 3DL files just download this whole cinematic drone loots folder and then you'll get access to everything pretty much the two differences here is if you have a Mac or a PC you want to use those files with each one but you go into one of the folders you see all the different types of files here and the different names um, these are just the names that I've added on the loots to kind of give a description of the feel or the vibe that you might get with those certain loots so Make sure to download this, and then I highly recommend actually saving it to cloud storage, so like putting on a Google Drive or OneDrive, and then saving on an external drive 
but let me show you what this looks like in Premiere Pro. That's where my tutorial will be in today. Now, if you don't use Premiere Pro, it's a very similar process with using Lutes in your own editing software. Um, it's just a matter of like importing them and then overlaying them over your footage. I'm just gonna show you the best way to do it in Premiere Pro. I have Premiere Pro open and I've actually have some drone clips all right here of different shots that I've taken over time. Some of them have been with my Phantom Standard 3 and then others have been with my Mavic 2 Pro. It's just kind of a mix of all of them, but I'm gonna show you the best way to use loots and add them to your footage. Normally what you can do is select a clip and then go to the input loop, browse, and then, you know, if I wanna do this one, vibes here, click open, and then you'd see that overlay on the footage there. But the problem with doing this is that you know, it's really saturated. You can see a ton of the blues just kind of like in an unnatural way. And if that's not the look you want to go for and you want to tone it down a little bit, there's no really easy way of adjusting that if it's automatically on the clip. So what I recommend doing is actually instead creating an adjustment layer. So if I switch this back to none, and then I go down to here where my media bin is, right click, new item, and then do an adjustment layer, click OK. I can drag that over a clip and this is just kind of like a clear layer that's going to hover over your shot and you can't tell any difference right now but instead of selecting my shot let's select the adjustment layer go to input browse we'll select the same loot again and then you'll see that it's the same saturated color but if you go over to effects and then if i go to opacity i can bring that down just a little bit and then I can get the right adjustment that I want for that. A lot of times 50% is a good spot or a good range that looks really good with these different loots. Um, play with that as you want, but that is the best way to adjust that. So that way, you know, if you don't like how that looks, instead of having to apply it directly to your shot, you can apply it to an adjustment layer and then you can move that around with different shots and see how you like, you know, that shot with this certain adjustment layer going on top of it. And before I close out this tutorial, I did mention I have some future plans for this channel that I want to tell you all about. I'm going to be continuing to stick to my once a week posting schedule. I'm going to continue to post tips and trick videos, how-to tutorials, product reviews, and then even showcasing my own drone footage or even doing live streams to kind of show everyone here in the drone fam what I do when I capture my cinematic shots. And then as well, I've always been focusing my channel on helping drone pilots make better drone videos, but I'm actually going to start expanding into making better drone videos and photography. So if you want to get better at both instead of just the video aspect, I'm going to be covering a ton about that. And then finally, I want to start doing a new thing where I actually give a shout out to a drone YouTube channel or a drone Instagram account at the end of my videos. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way for me to, to give those shout outs, but I want to do that for the drone fam. So be aware of that in the future. And if you're not already part of the drone fam, make sure to go and subscribe to the channel and then give this video a thumbs up if you found this tutorial useful. And as always, drone fam, keep cruising. I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.